Welcome back to my channel. This is Sir Paya. So, sa mga bago pa lang sa channel ko, ako po ay nagtuturo ng basic programming kung paano gumawa ng system from the scratch. So, don't forget to subscribe my channel and pagipindot na rin sa notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga bagong upload tulad nito. So, update tayo sa ating ginawang student violation system using vivid.net 2019. Okay, so, yung previous natin na tutorial is nakagawa na tayo ng record. So, ma-filter natin yung violation uh, by school year and term. Ayan, so example ito. Then, so, meron siyang dalawang violation. Pag-click natin itong uh, monitor. So, makikita natin dito yung uh, violation niya. So, today is gawa tayo ng user account. Okay, so right click tayo the project and then add and then forms. Tapos, lagyan natin siya ng frm user account. Then add. So, check natin kung ano yung fund yung ginamit natin dito. So, copy lang natin yung fan. Tapos, tanggalin natin yung text. Stas. Tapos, maximize. Then, the border style. Set natin to hexangle. Then, control box. Set natin to false para matanggal yung uh, border niya. Okay. Then the color, of course, change natin to white. Yan. So, copy natin yan. Lagay natin dito. Hindi pala na copy. Um, copy. Close. Copy. So this is user account. Tapos yung close natin is ilagay natin dito. Tapos me the dispose. So, add din ang reference para pag save ng record or para pag insert ng, ng record natin papunta sa Axis. So, import um, system data.olidb Okay. Ayan. User account. Ayan. Tapos, add tayo ng tab. Tab control. Okay, so, tab control natin. Ayan. So, yung tab natin. Uh, this is create user account. Okay. Save natin. Ano? Ah, okay. So, sa text pala. Dito, sa text natin lagay. Create user account. Okay. Tapos, add tayo dito ng label. So, change natin to username. Tapos, uh, text box. Add tayo ng text box. Okay, natin dito. Tapos, password. Okay, type password. Confirm new password. Uh, confirm password. Tapos, name. This is confirm password. Then, this is 
password okay tapos copy tayo ng button lagay natin dito save so this is btn save change natin yung name nya to btn save Ayaw. Uh -huh. Ah, kaya pala. Ito yung save natin. So, this is uh, close. Tapos ito is palitan natin siya ng bitin save okay so up natin okay ayan so try natin ito tayo kay main tapos serkan this is btn user Copy lang natin to Copy. Change natin yung form. Tawagin natin si BTN user account. And then this is, ano, oh, FRM user account. So, tanggalin natin itong dalawa. So, check natin. So, user account. Ayan. So, hindi siya, ano, uh, on center. Center natin. Tapos, ito is, dapat naka-password character na nakalagay doon sa ating password. Saka sa confirm new password. So, puntan muna tayo dito. Kay, um, for user account. Tapos, punta tayo dito kay, ano, how is the user account. Tapos, punta tayo kay Resize. So, that is e tab tab control 1 dot and then we have the me dot with minus natin tab control dot with divide 2. Ayan, para mas enter siya. And of course, yung height rin niya. So, this is top. Tapos yung height. Okay. So, check natin. Kung naging center na ba siya. Ayan, so nasa center na siya. The next natin gawin is, dapat naka-password character. Yung uh, txt password natin. So, hindi pa tayo nag-naming convention. So, naming muna tayo. This is txt. txt user. txt pass. txt confirm. txt name. Okay. Tapos si pass dot password character and 149 so para bulleted yung password character nya so same with the confirm see it's our 149 okay so try natin iparan yung program check natin uh, punta tayo kay user account so, yan, naka-polited na siya. Tapos, ating database, create tayo ng user. So, sa user natin is, meron pa palang role na nilagay natin 
si Ron. Oh, okay, tanggalin na lang natin itong roll. Kasi uh, simple program lang naman yung ginawa natin. Tanggalin na lang natin to. Yes. So, tanggalin muna natin yung records. So, I have a username, password, saka si name. So, insert muna tayo. Uh, dito. Try. Tapos, if message box save this a new account bbs na plus bb question equal to bbs <coughs> and then we have the cn that open cn that close fcm new only db command then we have the insert into tbl user that's like a tbl user and tapos we have user and password then we have a username password si name copy natin to so lagyan natin ito kasi keyword to ng, ng access database Then we have with um, with cm that parameters that add with value first is username. Then shakai text user the text that parameters that add with value at uh, password. So, kay txt pass the text copy lang natin to for name then we have txt name tapos dot execute ng query and then message box record has been successfully Save. So, kung may mali, kung may error, so close natin yung connection, message box. Okay. Tapos, kaya tayo ng clear. Sub. So, meron pa tulad tayong confirm dito. Confirm mo na tayo. Excuse. Condition natin. If takes the takes the password the text is not equal to takes the confirm the text. So, pag hindi equal, meaning so, this is box tayo dito. Confirm password did not match very critical then return so si return is para hindi na i-continue yung pag-execute ng program dito so stop na once may encounter niya yung keyword na return so stop na yung program so try natin so um user account sample admin password is 1234 tapos mali natin yung password 123456 name is domain try natin i-save uh, confirm password did not match so dapat hindi information dapat uh, error 1234 save natin 
record save okay so dapat ito is in the information this is critical so check natin if nakasave na ba yung record natin so meron na okay nakasave na siya so that, that's it for now so bukas continue tayo bukas kung paano naman tayo mag Ah, tatapusin lang muna natin to it, itong program na to bago natin i-continue yung sa ating um, uh, school management system using C Sharp so ayan um, so after nito is user account once na makapag saan makapag save na tayo tapos uh, change password taka, uh, delete pa delete account okay then after So, delete account. So, gawa tayo ng user login form. And after sa user login form, dashboard. Tapos, tapos na tayo at ka uh, tutorial natin. Okay. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan. So, maraming salamat yung panood at pakikinig. So, happy coding everyone. Thank you.